so here we have the challenges and whatnot, but before we before we get to this, I'd like to go to the Rift here. And we like to do our annual Was it annual? I guess it would be technically annual. Uh, our usual uh, preview of all the cosmetics you get for uh, this season's rift. Uh, get over here. You see all the outfits and whatnot. Um, it is centered around Jake, Claudette, and the Knight, from what I understand with the uh, with the story stuff in the tome. Um, here with it, they have looks like Vittorio, Claudette, Fang, Huntress, and the Knight. Um, that outfit looks really good right out of the gate, and hers isn't too bad either. Uh, we saw yesterday uh, when we were trying to get some of the assets for the Moonlight Burrow stuff that, well, as of now, I'm sure it would probably come out by the time you watch this, but in February, um, they're dropping a Huntress-themed uh, Hooked on You outfit. Basically, basically what she wore in the uh, in that game will be an outfit here, which I I'm stoked. I'm going to be wearing that in the summer, I feel. Uh, playing as her. So. Uh, let's unlock this right away. Got the thousand orc cells, and uh, away we go. Um, we've got what do we got here? We've got the normal basic stuff, the tunic, armored snow, and false beliefs for uh, the knight, a charm, and Vittoria, at least the torso piece of that, and the torso piece, or the body piece for the knight as well. And then you have 25 auric cells. Immediately after, you have the mark of the carnifex. There we are. Uh, usual piece of toast, silver piece of toast of... Uh, whatever that's supposed to be. Holy moly. It's like a face inside of, like, a, a, a stomach of some sort. And you have, like, another face on the top. Okay. That looks kind of cool. And a scroll of, uh... This looks like a town scroll from, like, a like a cartoony game. Like a mobile game. Like if, uh... Uh, oh, what was that one game called? Uh... I cannot... Uh, 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 Torchlight, that's it. It was on the tip of my tongue, I knew it. It's like something out of Torchlight here. Um, but that, I think, is a survivor charm, so there's that. Macmillan Estate Portal. A scrabble tile of being able to see to Macmillan. Looks like the, uh, the mineshaft map. Trio of Agony. Uh, we've seen this type of uh, charm template before. It's not actually backwards, no matter how many times you flip it. So there you go. Also, by the way, uh, the free track you get a, a bunch of uh, blood points there. Uh, premium stuff you just get orc cells, and I'm guessing it, it's still pretty much the same. Uh, starting with Tome 13, though, that they added extra color alternates to uh, the end of the of the uh, battle pass, here, if you want to call it that. Um, so when you get to 70, then 71 to 85, from what I understand, is usually uh, color alternates of, I think, the, the headlining outfits that you saw just now in the, uh, in the little... Uh, the little splash screen when we bought our our pass here, so just want to make that clear. Um, green beret for Kate looks like part of the St. Patrick's Day collection, so she's getting a St. Patrick's Day outfit uh, on the paid path. Uh, Cupid's chosen collection, his new customized weapon, uh, will make lovers' hearts beat faster. So, that, I'm guessing he's getting a Valentine's Day outfit. Corvus, thank you very much! Thank you very much for the raid, appreciate it. 
Going on to page two here. Uh, Claudette with... I don't even know what to call these pants. They're just pants with, like, pockets on the sides of some sort. And then boots. Uh, steely gaze going back to... Uh, Death Slinger? I, oh, it's a different hat. That is a palette swapped hat, I believe. I was about to say, I didn't see anything new on that, but there you go. Uh, section 12 here, tier 12. Portal to the Abattoir. The old farm map there. You get that weird light shine. Anyway, that's kind of fun. Nurse in the free section gets a saw blade of some sort. What is that? The bone saw designed to steal her victim's last breath. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Looks looks wacky. Looks like it would hurt if she uh, hit you with it. Uh, Forster gear. Here, real quick, let me. Uh, Give a shout out to Corvus here. Dun, dun, dun. Thank you, man. Hope the matches were good. There you go. Uh, what do we got here? 14, what is this? She put everything she needed within reach for gathering new flora species or giving emergency care. Is she a ye old medic from medieval times here? I'm sensing I'm sensing a pattern with these outfits here. It's not one that I'm crazy about. I'm not a big fan of medieval based things, believe it or not. It was like the medieval video game on the Sony PlayStation, and that's about That's about my taste goes, I feel. What do we have here? Childhood memory. Uh, for the Huntress. Okay. Anna still holds her in her arms sometimes at night while humming her mother's lullaby. That's just a wooden toy. Mark of the Assassin. I like it. Looks like it on a burnt piece of toast. Uh, tier 17, you get 10,000. By the way, you get a lot of, uh... I got a decent amount of uh, blood points here for the first few pages. I mean, we get 100,000 just by purchasing the damn thing. Um, going all the way over here, it's like 5,000, 10,000, 5,000, so... Make a pretty good chunk of change off of uh, leveling up on the free path at the very least. Uh, Duke of Portoscuro. Whatever that's supposed to be. It's not actually flipped around when you turn it. That's always a pet peeve of mine with some of these tchotchkes. So it always looks like he's looking off to the left. Um, moving on. <laughs> Wanted Beast Woman. It says on the paper that her favorite prey is humans. Nothing on the back. I wonder if that's Huntress related. If it is, I, that might be going on the uh, the hook, I feel. Moving on to tier 25. Or two, tier 20, excuse me, I'm sorry. Jumping ahead of myself. Um, pink robe. I guess that's the other... I guess that's the Valentine's Day outfit right there. That completes it. We saw the gun, the pink gun, the white hat. And now the pink coat. I like it. Uh, she's always been good at making her own salves and ointments from plants. She used it for her hair as much as for her wounds. For claw that. It's actually... You can tell that it's extra shiny. For whatever reason. So that goes with her uh, other outfit pieces there. Tier 23 on the free path. A windmill. With one of the... Is that a broken blade, I guess? On one of them? Long past its days of turning grist into something useful. Okay, fair enough. Heart pattern shorts for Jonah. Oh my god, those look like boxers. 
Oh man, if I get that with the uh, disgruntled top part, where he looks like a softball coach, oh man, that could be that could be inappropriate in a weird way. Um, moving on. Uh, the empty flagon in or flagon. Again, it's another. Well, this is a. I mean, this is a different looking template that they've used, which is kind of neat. Uh, however, the image doesn't flip around when you turn the tchotchke around, so that's kind of a bummer. Um, but it's for a killer. I guess you can throw that on for the night, I suppose. Uh, Pearl Swamp, there you see the party boat in the distance. Um, nice little portal, so there's a theme to these. Uh, I was kind of hoping they would have resumed the the uh, what was it? The tarot cards on the previous one. They kind of did a tarot card for like some of the the survivors on the uh, the image and whatnot and things like that. And they just kind of they didn't do all of them. I was kind of hoping they would have picked up from from there. Instead, you get these weird portal looking things here. Uh, moving right along, lethal cocktail. It looks like something for maybe blight. I want to say the warm embrace of a mother's love. Wow. Maybe we could throw that on for a clown. I guess, I don't know. Uh, St. Patrick's Day skirt for Kate. I mean, it doesn't really work with that top. But the skirt alone looks pretty good. I like it. Beast Blade. Uh, this blade was used to deliver crushing blows. Um... The hilt looks different here. The blade kind of looks the same from what he normally uses. But the hilt uh, has some different markings on it that make it stand out, I suppose. Uh, not bad. Not bad. I'm not a big fan of the knight. Um, I don't like going against him. I don't like playing as him either. He's very... <clears throat> He's a big old lame-o, I feel. So... I'm not a big fan of uh, him. They did recently tweak him around. Uh, the mid-chapter came out yesterday. Um, still kind of very meh to me. Um, moving on. It's a, Jonah gets a new set of headphones here. Uh, beats by Love, I guess, or Beats by Cupid. Uh, moving right along from that. Legion, of all people. Get an outfit here, I guess. Uh, in love, as in murder, this blade won't miss its crush. Uh, it's a red blade, so... I'll probably use it. That might be Valentine's Day related as well. Um, it's Legion. Another lame killer. So. Uh, porcelain vase. Hard to make. Was it hard to make, easy to break? Yeah. There you go. Mark of the Jailer. Man, that looks dope as hell. On a piss colored piece of toast. Or just heavily buttered, whichever you prefer. Tender Heart! It's just him in a, uh, a tank. I know people still call these wife beaters, but. I think it's kind of frowned upon these days. <laughs> um, nonetheless, uh, it looks like he just kind of like forgot to wear clothes if he's actually showing up to his FBI job or whatever it is in the heart pants and then the heart shirt here. Like he's still like in his sleepwear or something like that. Uh, tier 39. That's a cool looking mask. It's something... Uh, out of the norm, where her hair is like growing out from the corner and he, it's like in the way of her face. Uh, you can kind of sort of see her scalp. I don't know if uh, maybe if you get into a lobby where you can kind of turn her around, or maybe if you just get into a custom lobby as well. Uh, if you really want to see, you can kind of maybe spin her and just get a real close look of uh, all the detailing there. Uh, that's on the free path, on the paid path. Vittorio looking like... I don't know, he's, 
It's kind of giving me like Geralt vibes. Which also uh, is coming the Fortnite, apparently. The Witcher uh, outfit or the Witcher skin. I don't know why, but. Moving on. Green tank top. Oh, let's go. Hell yeah. How are you doing, Jane? What's up? Hell yeah. Even, even like, just that alone, it actually matches the pants. Because they're both, like, the the lines and whatnot kind of... Patternistically, if that's even a word, line up together, I feel. Or just, it matches really well. A blind date. Looks like something out of Squid Game, if you ask me. Uh, I know there's, like, the triangle square... I think X was one of the shapes. Have a heart. Uh, Temple of Purgation Portal. Uh, mm, not a good photo. Not a good photo, but it's so blown out from the colors that you can barely see what the that, that little monolith structure uh, in the middle of the temple is, uh, is there. So... Yipper. Moving on from that. A dreadful deal. Image is not flipped. When you spin it around. Contract Vittorio signed would end up would end up his worst nightmare. Uh, would end up being his worst nightmare, I feel, would be a little bit more grammatically correct on that. The contract Vittorio signed would end up his worst nightmare, yeah. I think they're, they're missing a B in there, or B aim. Feline Grace for Feng. Also has a... Uh, we're in the midst of the Lunar New Year stuff here. So she also has uh, cosmetics for that. And I think there's a Twitch Prime outfit as well. So she's getting all the love, apparently. Um, decent bottoms, I guess. I don't know. Uh, shifting back over to the free path. The Imperial Guardian... They are known to protect from harmful spirits and people. Uh, it just looks like one of the lions from that old PBS show, Between the Lions. If you remember that back in the day. Um, that's okay. There's that one uh, lunar uh, uh, charm from like years past of like that tiger. Um, this is like a baby form of that, I guess. I don't know. So Maybe you can throw them both on. Have some sort of collusion together. And uh, there is where the mask and knife match the outfit, which I believe is either for Julie or Susie, one of the two. But um, maybe I'll start rocking that one. Uh, even outside of uh, Valentine's Day, because I do like red. Red's my favorite color, followed by yellow. So, as much as I don't like Legion, that outfit's kind of, uh, kind of good. I like it. Chainmail. Now we're talking. Medieval axe throwing for Huntress. Um, yeah, uh, I'll probably rock this for a little bit. Um, I have the Baba Yaga skin, so that's pretty much, like, top priority. I feel. Um, after that, we've got Jane. Hello, Jane. Let's go. She knows she can't go wrong with a fun-loving pair of jorts. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. This is going to be Jane's year, I feel. She can rock a two-piece swimsuit, and she can definitely rock a two-piece fucking St. Patrick's Day outfit. Let's go. Lucky coins in the form of what looks to be a sword. Um, I'm guessing this might be just some excess maybe to fill a spot uh, instead of, you know, giving it away from some of the lunar cosmetics, or just, like, throw it in the past. Here you go. Guard Company Crest. It's just a shield with some clamshells on it, what looks like clamshells. So. Uh, the lion's teeth. 
Looks like a metallic girdle. Uh, moving on. Elk antlers, which look kind of small, maybe for a huntress as well. Uh, she kept the she kept the antlers among her possessions, a reminder of her past. Okay. And then the headpiece for Jane. It's a bit of a palette swap with the hair and I think the glasses, but I'm all for it. I'm all for it. Uh, moving on. The owl helmet for Huntress. Looks kind of silly. I was actually kind of hoping for something a little bit more owl-like. Uh, I can sort of see it with the beak of the mask itself, but I mean, she's wearing like moose heads and shit, and like bear noggins. I mean, to tell me she can't like wear like an actual like owl face or something. Well, then again, it probably wouldn't be that large to to do. But um, yeah, not bad, not bad at all. Floral trousers. Uh, they kind of just look like clovers with like bleach stains all over them. Uh, yeah, uh, eh, not a fan, not a big fan of it. Howling fire. It's actually animated. I think uh, we pointed out on the previous one, like we saw some stuff that wasn't uh, a tier seventy tchotchke, tchotchke item that was actually animated. So here we are hit with this, uh, and actually it's a survivor charm, no less. Huh. Interesting. I guess it's part of the shattered square aesthetic with the the burning house structure where everything's on fire. Huh. Interesting. Uh, the Iron Axe for Huntress? That looks pretty dope. That looks like it would hurt if you got fucking hit by that. Fluffy green jacket. Exactly what it says. Uh, it looks like one of the... Is that supposed to be a mooncake on the back? I'm not sure. Um, I like it, whatever it is. Or that, that might be like a coin purse sort of thing, actually. I'm not sure. Um, but I like it, whatever. Uh, whatever that is, and this jacket itself. The pants, probably not. But uh, the green jacket, though, is pretty good. Uh, I don't know how useful it's going to be in the in the wild, but maybe it'll blend in really well in Auto Haven, at the very least. Nurse looking... Oh my god. What is this? And this, they're giving this one out for free. Wow. Okay. Nurses field uniform that soldiers would not want to see on the battlefield. Yeah, with their bony thigh. Bony charred thigh leg. Yikes. It's a good thing she it's a good thing she can fly around, because otherwise she'd like give Wraith a run for his money for, you know, his chicken legs with this outfit. My goodness. Um, I still think the Scrabble one's probably the her best outfit, or the the one that we've got on from I think last year's Lunar New Year event. Uh, what is this? Golden hair stick. Yep, that's a hair stick, and it sure is golden. Moving on from that, spiked locker. Also known as an Iron Maiden. Not to be confused with the perk, Iron Maiden. Or the band, Iron Maiden. Uh, forest jacket for Kate. I like the gloves. The gloves are a nice touch. Um, her purse on the back. The Torio figurine with uh, what looks to be holding 
what looks to be holding his, uh, what was it, that crest from earlier? No, not that one. Oh, where was it? Let me see if I can find it. This one. Yeah, that's what looks, what looks like he's holding, but it's a little bit more golden, so I don't know. I don't know. I like it. I kind of hope at some point they do one of these vinyl figurines for, like, all the survivors, maybe even all the killers, too. They have a couple for the killers, from if I recall correctly, but they have a whole bunch for the survivors. Uh, infuriating Muzzle. It's a knight mask helmet thing with hands right over the, uh, the eye holes instead of his hair coming out or his eyelashes as I've heard other people uh, call it. And he's also got hands on... They're holding, like, cups, apparently. Interesting. I'd love to zoom in on that, but I cannot. Uh, slick back style. That's just a shade of red. I like it. And then... The normal end of the pass here. Tier 70. A floating bastion. Which is, uh... Also a place you can land in Fortnite. Some some sort of collusion there. Maybe there's a, a crossover in the works. Who knows? Uh, Night Standard. Uh, this one's actually flipped. Look at that. You got the scales and then... Whoop! And flipped around. It's our first tchotchke where it's actually flipped at tier 70. And then the Mother's Dwelling Portal... You get to see the, the cabin there. And then also on the free section, Vittorio with shaggy hair. Frizzy, shaggy hair. Well, not even shaggy, but I would say more frizzy, like he needs some conditioner. So that's the end of the normal pass. So now we get into the extra outfits here coming up. shiny hair Claudette, but her braids I think are a slightly different color. It's hard to tell with the lighting. But if we go back... Let's see if we go back to... Where was it? Where was it here? Hold on. Yeah. If we go back over here, let's see. There's hardly any uh, noticeable difference. Let's see. Yeah. That is... Yeah, there's this very subtle change, but that's it. So there's not much of a change, at least under whatever this lighting is. Here. Chainmail for Huntress. Ooh! Alright. Uh, I already don't like that they're recycling the blue color scheme already. Uh, I was kind of hoping for maybe a different color. Feline Grace. Uh, the little emblem on her pants are is blue instead of gold. Seems like a step backwards. Helmet for the knight. Uh, blue instead of gold. Uh, Vittoria with a blue chest plate. Uh, oh my god, blue pants on Claudette. That actually might be pretty decent. A iron, the, the wrought iron here, which is, again, under the lighting conditions, is still kind of, uh, you can kind of tell from right over there. Barely noticeable of a change, but it's, it too is also blue. The lion's teeth. Blue outfit for, uh, the blue girdle for, uh, Fang. The hilt on the sword, also blueified. The high boots. Yeah. Not a, I. I don't like the fact that it's just blue. You know. I guess it, you know they're trying to take a page out of Fortnite's book with like the super leveling skins and things like that. And there's like three different kinds you can you can get. But here it's just it's the same color scheme. As the previous tome, like there's no other 
Like there's no blue. Uh, you know, for Valentine's Day, I was thinking maybe red. Like all of these would be like a red variant. Um, the previous one kind of made it seem like you know it's all cold, bone chill, and things like that. So let's just make it blue because it's winter themed. But no, it just seems to be a generic uh, palette pattern, which is kind of un really unfortunate and disheartening, to, to say the least. Um, there's the owl mask, but with the blue flowers. Golden hair stick, but it's just, it's blue. Although it's hard to tell, again, with the, it looks more silver than anything. Oh, the blue streaks in the hair. Okay. Almost didn't see that. False beliefs, the torso there for the night, and Vittorio with uh, blue chalk on his face, which I didn't. See, it didn't seem like there was any before. Yeah, nothing, and so they just added. They're just like here, put some blue chalk on your cheeks. Yeah, not a fan of the extra skins. Um. All in all, I think it's a solid pass for the St. Patrick's Day stuff. Um, I'm, again, I'm not a big fan of the medieval concept in general, honestly. It's just I think it's just a, a dull aesthetic you can apply to like any sort of video game, I feel. Um, some of the Valentine's Day outfits are pretty good. Uh, the one for Legion looks pretty nice. Um, Death Slinger just is kind of interesting. I don't play him much these days, but when I do, I'll probably... I might put on the coat at the very least. Um, the Huntress one's okay. Um, not... I'm kind of... I'm kind of disappointed that this, the animated little Bastion here, which is also equipable for Killer or Survivor, uh, it's just snow that's, you know, falling. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not I'm not feeling the tchotchkes this season and uh, some of the other outfits that are just like medieval based. So I would say that's probably the worst part, but the best ones I think are the, uh, the St. Patty's Day and the Valentine's Day uh, skins. So. And then also the extra outfits are pretty fucking whack, if you ask me that. So if you're on YouTube, also no crouching, by the way. Um, didn't realize I was on there. So wait, hold on. If I have that on that scene, but it's over... How did that get split up? Hold on. No crouching! Sorry about that. Somehow that got desynced with one another. I didn't notice that till uh, after. That's all good. Anyway, um... If you're watching on YouTube, that will sum that... That will be all of that there. Like, comment, subscribe, and all that jazz. If you're here on Twitch, uh, we're going to get underway here with uh, all of this stuff here. Starting off with uh, what looks to be the night challenges here on the killer path, and then uh, survivor stuff shortly thereafter. So uh, if you're on YouTube, catch you around. If you're here on Twitch, stick around. We're going to be hopefully knocking out some of these challenges.